I know what you're thinking. The first video is about Shinobi. You're goddamn right it is. Roll that meme that I freaking love. To be honest, the Shinobi is one of the best characters I've ever played in a game. And it's the only character that I've actually used in For Honor thus far. The thing about it is, there's a little bit of things that you gotta understand when you're playing this character. So, this is gonna be not a guide, but a what not to do list. Let's get on with it. Let's talk zone attack. So the thing about it is that although this move is extra fast, the follow-up is what usually gets you killed. So the damage that it deals is pretty is pretty decent. It's fairly fairly okay, but you do not want to throw this all the time. Basic throw, basically throw it at the end when you're getting those last bit of attacks or using it just out of the blue. It's better than trying to incorporate this into your everyday combos. In my opinion, I would say don't ever throw this unless you're in a team fight. And then that's when it's pretty much the most productive because you're, you're bound to hit somebody and you'll catch them off guard. But mostly when you're playing Shinobi, you're not going to be up close anyway in team fights too many times. But that would be the time you would throw this. Other than that, just don't do it. Just don't. I was going to show you how many times that they catch your zone attack. But my game crashed. But this is a funny thing that we were looking at while it was crashing. Even the game didn't want to deal with that much bullshit. To make a long story short, only use this when you're clearing minions and you recover your stamina or if your opponent will least expect it. My final tip for you guys is about the range guard break. Please, use this sparingly and use this only when your opponent does not see you coming. It's very good in group settings, but if you're fighting 1v1, it's pretty much non-existent. The only reason you would be able to even use this move is if they're done, you know, doing an attack or during their recovery frames. So other than that, this move is pretty much non-existent, along with your right heavy. But you can kind of sneak your right heavies in there, but the range guard break is pretty much easy to stop all the time. So those are my tips that I wanted to give to you guys, especially for the newer players. When I first started out, these tips were given to me, and I wanted to pass them down and let people know. If you like the video, definitely let me know what you think I should do to improve it and whatnot. You guys, please be safe. I'll check you guys later.